So, by the title, you probably think I'm either ignorant or crazy, so let me clear it up that I know there's the chance that someone else knows about these things, or may even have access to them. What I really mean by the title is that I haven't seen anyone ask about these things online, whether that be on social media or the Lost Media Wiki forums, by any article or YouTube video. It's not listed on the Lost Media Wiki or the Lost Media Archive. I personally cannot find them and have thus dubbed them as Lost Media due to the fact that any mention of them is also non-existent. I will also mention that this could just be a case of poor documentation, although that's kind of unlikely because I, I did do in-depth searches on Google. <laughs> I did some pretty deep Google searches for these, so, um, so here are three pieces of Lost Media that I am convinced only I am aware of. Terry Crews Saves Christmas was a miniseries that aired on The CW for four consecutive days in December of 2016. Between the 20th and the 23rd, five one-hour-long episodes aired, each focusing on a real family that had trouble throwing quality Christmas parties in the past, Terry bringing in a team of experts to help improve whatever weak spots they had. I watched this when it aired in 2016, and the next year I had awaited an announcement for another season, but there just wasn't ever another one. There are no streaming services where you can watch the show, and all the weird off-brand streaming sites that claim to have it don't deliver on that promise. All that's left is an interview with Terry about the show, a few loose clips, and only the third episode in full on Dailymotion. Good morning. I also have officially turned into uh, Christmas's spirit animal. That's nice. what I am right now. There you go. Now I've just uh, figured I'm out why I still all work kind of thing. You got all the jobs, man. You got all the jobs. <laughs> So it sounds like Christmas, though, is a particularly favorite time of year for you. Oh, it is. Bro, I love Christmas. I mean, I've been doing it for 27 years with my wife and the whole thing, and with five kids. I have a grandbaby. But see, also, I don't want to come off as a know-it-all. You know, oh. I don't want to be one of those guys that's like, you're not doing Christmas correctly. You know, <laughs> not me. That's not me. Ready for an NFL game like this. Make sure you have no wardrobe malfunctions. Pull it tight. You are a rookie, but you're going to do well because you're the first round draft pick. Do you feel me? Yes, sir. All right. Santa's loyal, most handsome elf. <laughs> I'm here to announce the one, the only Santa Claus. I would love to see this get completely found, I will say this again in the video, but if you have any leads on this, or even a recording of it, or anything else I mention, it would be a huge help if you could send it to me or direct me to it. If you're a hardcore Marvel fan, you're familiar with two facts. The canon Marvel Cinematic Universe was established only in movies up until WandaVision, and that pretty much all of the non-Disney Plus TV series didn't take themselves seriously enough because of this. That second one could be argued, but if you've ever seen a non-Disney Plus Marvel series, you probably kind of get what I mean by it. <laughs> However, in August of 2016, Marvel announced a series for television that would have developed the MCU to expand to include more heroes, like they're doing nowadays on Disney Plus. So, prior to Disney Plus being the main platform for Marvel series, there were a few options. For networks, shows would be broadcast to either ABC or Freeform, and for streaming, Netflix and Hulu were the two choices. Freeform ended up being Marvel's weapon of choice for The New Warriors, a series following the comic series of the same name. In April of 2017, it was announced that 10 episodes of a comedy series based around the heroes would air on Freeform. This would have been Marvel's first comedy, predating She-Hulk, as well as the first live-action appearance of Squirrel Girl, a well-liked character that had already been depicted in a few animated series. By November of 2017, the showrunner was hired, who wrote the first script to be used to produce a pilot. A cast had already been determined to play the six heroes, Milana Vaintrub as Squirrel Girl, Derek Thaler as Mr. Immortal, Jeremy Tardy as Night Thrasher, Kayla Worthy as Speedball, Matthew Moy as Microbe, and Kate Comer as Debris. I might have said some of those names wrong, I'm very sorry. The pilot was said to have tested very well with Disney executives, which not only means that the test pilot was finished, but shown in full to actual human beings. Debatable whether or not Disney executives are human. However, Freeform had come to realize that they had no room in their schedule to air the series, because it was so much more important for us to see whether or not Teen Beach Movie Girl ended up with her adoptive brother. The series was given back to Marvel, who hoped to produce the rest of the series with another network that would resume work on it by January of 2018. 
This date came and went with no new home being determined for the series. The upcoming Disney Plus streaming service was discussed as a possibility, but this never worked out as WandaVision would have already been in production with more series already announced for the service. Netflix was also out of contention as later that year, Disney stopped producing series for the service and announced they were ending the relationship between the two. The show was said to be dead by 2019, but word about it and its production has circled around as recently as September of 2021. Kevin Beigel, the showrunner for the project, revealed in a tweet that a single executive sank the show because it was quote, too gay. In another now deleted tweet, he shows off a video of a young girl watching a clip of the pilot, which clearly shows Vane Shrub as Squirrel Girl. There's no way for me to know for sure, but I think this video might be of his daughter, to whom he's showing his copy of the Ruffton pilot. Even if he owns a copy, though, Marvel is known for being very hush-hush with their productions and possessive of their properties, which means that only the powers that be at Disney have the final say in whether it gets released or not, and unfortunately, the chances of a leak are slim to none. I will preface this by saying that I was introduced to this show by my sister and she most definitely would not want me taking the credit for finding out it even exists. The Deep is an Australian animated series about a family of underwater explorers who are in search of a lost city similar to Atlantis. The show itself isn't lost, you can watch it on Netflix. The fourth season wrapped up airing in June of this year, so it'll probably be put on there soon. The piece of media that I'm concerned with is a 12 minute long 4D movie based on the show. The Deep 4D, Mystery of the Ancient Amulet, is a non-canon standalone short film meant to be played in 4D theaters at various locations. In May of 2018, the film was distributed to be played at the Georgia, Shedd, and Texas State Aquariums, as well as at the former Nickelodeon Hotel, the Holiday Inn Water Park Resort in Orlando, Florida. The Georgia and Shedd Aquariums no longer have the film in their lineup, and the Holiday Inn's website doesn't mention any 4D experience at all. You'd have to email them to shake down any extra information, and I don't want to bother some poor underpaid soul for <laughs> next to no reason. The Texas State Aquarium does mention the experience by name on its website, but the last time the page was edited was to announce that it would start playing on May 25th of 2018. So that would be when that was going to be played there. There's a link to learn more about the 4D theater and the movie, but that link now redirects to a different unrelated portion of the aquarium's website. All I can find online are trailers from the companies who created it, as well as various clips that are all less than a minute long. If you know where this film might still be playing, let me know. Movies like this have a tendency to get passed down from their original intended theaters. Again, this was kind of a short video. Um, if you have any additional knowledge on anything I talked about, leave a comment. Even the smallest leads help. Um, thank you for watching. I know this one was kind of short. I I thought about throwing in something that, that had already been documented on the Lost Media Wiki, but I didn't. I, <laughs> like something less known, but I, I just felt like that didn't fit in. This will kind of result in a, a shorter video, but I'm, I'm sure it's not that big of a deal. But again, thank you for watching.